Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. On our last video, we looked at writing some CSS so that we uh, do not have our title cut off on the top of the screen. And that was uh, found by first using an element inspector to figure out what do we need to edit. So quick recap, with the element inspector, you need to right click any element and you should have inspect element and this works in Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, Safari, etc. It basically gives you um, it reverse engineers everything that you're looking at. So what I want to do is change the this built-in style. I'm tired of this theme. It's it's pretty plain and it's not the colors of my company. My company has green in it. So how do I change that? We're going to write some CSS and we need to know what we will edit uh, so that we can write the rule. So I've activated my element inspector and I'm going to try to right click and inspect an element somewhere up on the top. Uh, as I hover over the different pieces, you notice how they highlight. And I'm trying to highlight something near the top. I'm trying to click this one, which never mind exactly about the name but it's something to the effect of div, data theme A, data role header, data position. Hey, that looks like something that we typed previously, but it has more than that. It also has class, UI header, UI bar A, UI header fix, slide down, etc., etc. So we were never going to be able to figure that out without an element inspector. And then with the element inspector, we can do this. We can begin making changes and see what happens so I can the best advice that I can give you is look for a spot where it says something about color or background color or background change it and see what happens so I'm scrolling down and I see some color items here okay I see border I see background color which is our text color what happens if I change color there Oh, look at that, we've got red. Okay, that was for the text color. Uh, jQuery Mobile uses a system of gradients, and we see here background image linear gradient from this color to that color. That seems promising, so I'll click, and just for fun, let me select some sort of green color over here. And look at that. Now our gradient goes from green to black. So how do I put this knowledge to use? The element inspector basically lets you uh, become Sherlock Holmes to figure things out. Then it's up to you to put them into play. So this is telling me that there's a CSS rule dot ui dash bar dash a having a property of background dash image with a linear gradient will let me change the colors so let me define the colors that I want first and then I can get to it so this is gonna fade from a green to a blue maybe a bit darker All right, so what I need to do in my CSS is create a new rule, UI bar A, dot UI dash bar dash A, curly brace, close curly brace. I'm also going to um, create a linear gradient and you can copy and paste so try selecting that and depending on your web browser you should be able to right click and copy if you don't get the right click try your keyboard shortcuts command C or control C I'll paste that into my text here so we've got linear gradient from this to that just to show you that this is working I can do from uh, I don't know, let's do pink to red. Save that. Close the element inspector, refresh. There we go, pink to red. 
So you can do Azure to dark sea green. We've got that. My text now looks a little bit difficult to read, so I can do background image, which is the color back there. We can then do color, which is our text color. We'll say black. It's always a good idea to have contrast. You've got text and a background. Your text could be light, so therefore your background has to be dark. Or you could have your, deck, your text as dark and your background will be light. So contrasts. That changed my, uh, my bar for all of my pages. That's the power of CSS. It did not change the nav bar. So you try to find, how do I change my nav bar? That one's a little more complicated, but based on the tools I've given you so far, you should be able to figure it out. To get you started, you want to right-click one of those buttons, Inspect Element, and then Browse the Element Inspector. UI Navbar List Item. I don't know what I'm looking for. You might be thinking, well, just keep browsing, and somewhere there you'll most likely find something that defines the color. I see something that says Text Shadow. You might want to check that out. Items that are crossed out mean that they have been uh, replaced with other properties. And it goes from top to bottom. Top is the most uh, specific to the bottom, which is the most general. Usually those are crossed out because something more specific comes in to take over. So since I won't always be around to help you out, it's a good idea then to, to give this a try. Try to figure out where do I go to change the color of my of my nav bar. You'll use your element inspector, a little bit of detective work, and then perhaps you're gonna find exactly what you need to change. I'm not saying you may or may not, but you might be able to find it. Good luck.